Ciao! Bad grips. Uh, as you can see, pretty cool. Uh, he's out today. Uh, warmed up a little bit. Um, and then uh, went straight to a dumbbell deadlift. Uh, normally, like I said, if you're using these on anything that has to do with holding the weight, like usually you use your hands like a deadlift or a, even a, a dumbbell squat, things like that. You're gonna find that you're working your grip out more, more than anything because, you know, generally the weight's not a problem. I use 85s and these will kill me. I tried a few sets of eight, my grip was done. Dusted. It's just the fact of holding it at that at that size right there that kills. So you're probably gonna burn your grip out first, but these are for grip training. Um, good for, for curls as well. Good. Uh, the 225 on a deadlift, now, it was actually very tough. Um, I get out, easy, obviously, easily deadlift 225. When you put those grips on there, it, it just, your hands fall out. So I actually lowered it down to 120, 135 and I just held it for quite some time. Uh, was it real good? Um, you know, it's a great way to train your grip, I think. I mean, as far as really, if you're tired of just doing a bunch of wrist curls and whatnot, uh, really to just step it up and be able to incorporate in all your lifts is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys heard of these. They're the heavy grips. They're uh, basically grip trainers, not what you see at the store, but they go up in weight, so it's like, a, it's like a dumbbell set. So I got about six of them. It's actually about two and a half times harder than the one you find at your sporting goods stores or whatnot. This one is going to be um, uh, 100 pounds of pressure. Uh, but most anyone can aim the ladies can, you know, as far as any beginner. That's uh, 150. Uh, this is, of course, once again, a little bit harder. Not not too hard, though. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. But you see, when it comes to uh, getting stronger or anything, you got to have muscle overload. If you're doing 100 reps on a 40 pound uh, grip, uh, grip trainer, then you're not going to build muscle. So here's the 200. Now, this is when it, it starts getting pretty heavy. I can close this one, but it is difficult. So, there you go. So you can rep out with this one. Train your grip out. Right there, get that forearm in it. Good. And then it gets up to 250. Now this one they say, um, the, the 200 they say is advanced, 250 they say is going to be like your iron workers and people that work with their hands. They say some uh, powerless just can't do this. So it's kind of, it is tough. I mean I can't, I can almost get it pretty close. I don't really train with these too much on just, you know, squeezing, but uh, it's pretty close. But then you're going to get a little crazy. This is the 300. Now, good luck with that. I mean, once you get this one down. You got some serious grip. This one's nuts. This is 300 pounds of pressure. You have to get to close this sucker. So you can see I can close it like that. And then I got the 350. And this is a monster right here. If you can close this thing, you do a lot of fun party tricks. They say that no one really can uh, smash reps out that easy with these. That's ever reportedly at least. So you can work your way up. Pretty cool, but yeah, no, just another way to another way to go. Well, there you go, guys. Two different ways to train your grip. Um, you know, really, you can go either way with these or get them both. It just depends on what you're looking to do. But I'm gonna go and rank these to see which one's better. Uh, I'm gonna, out of five categories, functionality, durability, effectiveness, cost factor, and cool factor. Uh, starting with the fat grip, I give it a eight out of 10 for functionality. Uh, it is very functional, it goes around any bar. Uh, it really can go around anything, to be honest. I mean, even your favorite mug, look at that, see? build my grip everywhere right so any exercise real functional because you can use it in any direction uh, when you're pressing or pulling or even hanging onto a pull bar so very functional so I give it an 8 out of 10 uh, durability yeah it's pretty durable it's pretty hard rubber I give it an 8 as well um, not a perfect uh, you know perfect would be obviously indestructible but even a 9 would be uh, saying too much for this it does seem like it could probably wear out a little bit uh, but it's pretty pretty durable Affecting this, I'd give it a nine now because the reason if, if you're trying to train with thick uh, dumbbells and really trying to improve that grip, this is going to be the way to go. Uh, obviously, we can't afford um, you know ten thousand dollar dumbbell sets, so very cool. Uh, that brings it to the cost factor. A cost factor, give it a eight out of ten. Uh, Thirty six bucks, I think that you could buy two of them for. Obviously, going to do the job for a, a cheap price. Really can't beat that. And then the cool factor, obviously, very cool. You could act like you're training for uh, with you know fatter dumbbells and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. I give it an eight out of 10 on that. Being in the score 41 out of 50. 
So pretty solid. Uh, as far as the uh, heavy grips, uh, these are just uh, the squeezers there that we saw. Uh, functionality, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Uh, it does the job, but really, I mean, we're just squeezing. So it's not as uh, multi-dimensional. Uh, you squeeze and just improve that uh, your grip strength. So I guess it does do what it says it does. So don't give it a seven solid score. Durability, obviously give it a nine. So it's definitely durable. I mean, these suckers are, are still, I mean, you couldn't break this if you tried. I mean, you just, just can't. Like I'm trying to pull apart. This is not even a strong one. It's not doing anything. So very strong. Uh, effectiveness is seven out of 10. It does the job. But like I said, it's not as multi-dimensional. Uh, it definitely is effective for just building your squeezing grip though. Uh, the cool factor, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, you can do some fun stuff with that. I give it a uh, eight out of 10. Now, uh, once you, you really wanted to build just some crazy grip and be able to squeeze things to oblivion, it's per, pretty cool, so eight out of 10. And then the cost factor, I give it a seven out of 10. I mean, I, when I, I bought these a while ago, I mean, I think I paid $100 for all six of them, $100 plus. I think you can get them now for a little bit cheaper than that. But uh, yeah, they're a little expensive. Uh, I would try, I would if, if you're, if, if you lift normally, I would skip the 100 and just buy up to the 300 from uh, 150 to 300 is pretty safe range. Uh, if you ever get to the 350 and just buy it later, honestly, uh, I don't think it's gonna be realistic unless you really make it a, a serious goal in your life to, to be able to close the grip monster. But yeah, just uh, for buying all six of them though, it's a little it's a little excessive. Giving it a 38 out of 50 score. So the winner for I think training grip is gonna be your fat grips. It's cheaper, it's more efficient, and it's I think more multi-dimensional, and it does do the trick. My uh, forearm and hand will be sore the next day doing lifts that I normally would do without it. Winner is the fat grip for building grip versus the super grip.